catch Cloud9 off guard. Yeah, well, C9E, e, speaking of off guard, yeah. switch the whole thing around. Jungle Shivana, actually, the rise of the top laner, Ari comes in for the matchup. Ari has assassination potential on yeah. Lucid Fates. Oh, yeah. So that right there is kind of a reaction. Uh, that's concerned it's going well. C9E actually do have a gold lead overall. Their mid lane's winning by 11 minions. That stun comes in. Look at Ko from the back as well. Mid, he's got to be careful here. More red buff, though. He's going to flash away. Pulls the lantern in. Freeze is going to be pretty safe. Q comes out. Summoner heal was used to keep the team alive. Ko in a really bad oh, spot. Man. And down he goes. Well played, Mithy. Again. NIP bot lane gate. The flash and the heal. Yeah. Heal giving a speed buff now. It's just such a strong summoner. Oh, and Obama Dominic has down in the top lane. No hope up there. He's pre six. Take a look. He just gets a good equalizer this time. Able to squish him against the wall there. Riggles money later on in this game. 0-0 though. Ooh. Could be in a fight against Otwamna and Ko. It, the teleport comes out for TF. Ko has to ulti over the wall, but still taking damage. Forced to flash as well. Herberto on the wings. Nuke Duck. Will he flash the slow on the two? The Q is going to land on a one. Ko still trying to run away. Looks like he'll be safe, but the counter gag works. Now in the bottom lane, a fight erupts. Sivir ulti pop. Two box balls, maybe a third soon. A lot of damage. Febivin gets the kill back on a 0 0, but now in the bottom lane, Freeze trying to run away. Ulti comes in. Voidal gonna be able to dodge most of the culling here and keep himself alive. Too crazy in this one. Ko making his way top lane as well. A bit of a fight looks like he's gonna start here. Two on two oh. into the rush. He goes. Equalizer misses completely. And Odromna looking for damage now here. Hilberto forced ult trying to run away down very, very low. 0 0 now very much alone on this one. He's going to take down Ko before he falls. Odromna does not have flash, cannot catch Hilberto one for one. Would have yeah. changed everything here. But now the mid lane push, and Mithy does not have flash this time. Stun comes in, DFG for Bivin picks up one kill. Dwamna gets the root on a nuke duck. That's going to be a whole bunch of pain as well. Yerna gets the kill. C9E now with four kills in the map, two for zero. And they're play. looking to prep for this, but right now C9E have started up on the dragon. Ninjas in pajamas waiting far enough away. Looks like they will not go for this whatsoever. Dragon going down rather quickly. And Ko will claim a victim there. Dragon actually goes over to Yerna and Scumbag Yerna and stealing a Feral Flare stock with that one. Ulti comes in, it's gonna be a dash away. Hilberto, Nuke Duck, they're all in the mix. Nice knockback, but here comes the fight. Equalizer comes across the entire team. Nuke Duck goes down first. The back line still safe. Ko forced to run, but he's gonna get traded down back by Mithy. One for one fight. Flashed by Yernan. Good damage comes through. Can he find much more? Hilberto takes a crit to the back of the head. The Biven off on the side as well. More flashes used. Oh, the hook doesn't land. And down he goes. Picks up the kill on a Mithy. Two for one, C9E. Standard stuff here. Mithy has a lot of CDR. We'll see if he finishes his item or if he goes towards Ascension late game. Oh, face checking into Ari is always very, very painful. Yep. She does ridiculous damage when the charm lands, and that's a guaranteed uh, charm to land yeah. walking into it. Now it's going to be really hard for NIP to stop this. Let's well, going down really quickly. Equalizer. Great plus equalizer. Plus amazing damage comes through. C9E forced to disengage. They jump in. Nuke Duck taking a bunch of pain. Charm will not land. 0 0 off in the wings of the box. Doing a fair bit of damage as well. Can they re-engage? Look for Odwamna oh. right now. The Baron is still fighting. Odwamna very low on health. The Oh, nice shot comes in. The hook on the Yarn. He's going to go down as well. Febovin, can he find Mithy? He gets flayed back. Huge damage comes across. Ignite is on. And down he goes. Well, three kills for NIP. Well, we talked about the importance of that next team fight equalizer. Mm -hmm. It was godly. Inside the Baron pit. Always very dangerous to group up, especially against double A. Solar Flares back up. And they're going to go in for this one. Odomna's caught out. Stun lands. Rune Prison's not going to mean much. Down he goes. Febovin takes a card to the back. Jump in from Hilberto. Lands Oopsies, a bit more damage. Far. Overextends though and goes down. One for one. And meanwhile, minions are pushing down towards on different sides of the map. But NIP had the inside track down towards the mid lane. Yeah, that was definitely too much for Hilberto to go for. NIP still have the momentum though. Going to be some decent wave clear. Hook's not going to land, but they've got minions. But looks like they're going to back off. Afraid of Ari coming back in with home guards. That's Sivir wave clear. Okay. Solar flare landing. He falls in 0 zero. Some good damage going to come back. Coast slowed down. Hooked in as well. Half HP. Dragon gets him out a little bit of the way, but there's more damage on the 0 zero. going to be two kills picked up. Bevovin getting both actually from over the wall. Oh. Yerman in the melee range goes down. Bit up more than he could chew. Silly Sivir died in the last fight. <laughs> and we're waiting just in between every wave. They're going to try to go in, find some damage. So here we go again. Ku hovering on the outside here. Makes me think that they're looking for a good engage. Good equalizer. All they have to do is back off. It's done. Voidal goes in, loses half his HP. Ko jumps in as well, uh, gets hooked in, has the shield, and goes down. Two for one so far. NIP's favorite three kills whoa. coming across. A lot of death on all sides. Hilberto into the back lines. He's trying to get away. Goes down. Looks like two surviving members for each team. 
All right, so they get inside the base and they get the... Voidal actually going to be the one scouting out. They look for the flank, they get the stun on Zero Zero. Here comes the team, Cyberulti in tow as well. Huge burst, Nuke Duck goes down. Voidal in the front lines does not care if he dies, though, because they're going to find more kills for the team. One for one so far, Hoberto in the back lines looks for Yerinen, but three kills already picked up for C9E, and they look for the front door. Yeah, great job there by C9E, collapsing, catching them out of guard. I don't think they have to even go inhibitor turrets. Should be the end of the game here. Oh, uh, the inhib respawns, but you know, they've still got a super minion here. Cloud9 Eclipse gonna look to close out game one of this grand final best of five. Nexus turret number one under fire. Number two about to go down as well. 52 minutes into the game and a phenomenal team effort, but Cloud9 Eclipse will win game one, the grand finals of the challengers.